Good afternoon, West Creek Stampers. This is Monday, July 18, and I am a little later than I thought I was going to be. I sent out the email and said I was going to get this video done in the next couple days, and it didn't happen when I wanted it to. I was babysitting my great-grand dog all weekend, and he was quite a handful. So, um... Then my son's 51st birthday was yesterday, and it's hard for me to think that I have a 51-year-old son, but I do, and he's doing well. I'm quite proud of him, but I just wanted to hop on here now and show you how to put together these cards. Some of you have gotten your kit already. And um, we had fun with these. This is the Hippest Hippos. And here is how we put this card together. So we start out with Coastal Cabana. That is our card base. And um, we're going to fold it in half and crease it with the bone folder. And then the next layer is Smoky Slate. And I have all the dimensions on the PDF file that I made and sent out. So if anyone watching is not on my uh, email list and would like to be, then uh, send me a message or let me know that you'd like that PDF. So I, the white piece here is embossed with time worn embossing folder. And I like the way it looks. I think there is an up and down, maybe for those letters, but it's not real noticeable. And then what I did was I sponged that a little bit with some Coastal Cabana, just to give it a little um, bluish color on the background. So I'm using our sponges. And when you do those, you start off the paper. I actually should not have put that together first, but I don't think you're going to notice any of this Coastal Cabana on the gray. So you want to start off because sometimes you get like a little dot or a blob like right there when you start out. So that's how, how we did that just gives that a hint of Coastal Cabana on the back. Okay, and then this gets layered on the card base. This is a little different of uh, layering sizes than what you're used to, but I kind of like the look of it. And then we're going to put together all the little pieces. Now, in your kits... If you um, didn't, can't find your pieces, look in your envelope. They should be in there in your mailing envelope. Or um, I did put these in a little plastic envelope. So we're going to stamp Love You a Ton on scrap paper with Memento. And then what I did was just fussy cut this out. And... It is very easy just to cut around there. You can do how you want, but that is all it is. Now, there are some other words on that stamp set that you might like something better on the front. Always on point, you're so hip. Oh, you're really the best. Or you can use one of those inside. But I also wanted to show you all of the dies that are with this hippo dies. Now the Hippo Stamp Set, you can get with a free drawing celebration, which runs till the end of August, with a um, $50 order. And then the dies also, another $50, and you can get the dies. But you have waves, flowers, you have the sunglasses, you have the hearts, there's a little life preserver, stars, there is a tub, there is also a little boat. 
That's a little butterfly. There's a snorkel. There's goggles. There are three different pig dyes. So that I'm seeing there are only two there. One of them's missing, but I think I see it over at my die cutting machine. So I just wanted to show you that um, I, I had no idea all those dyes were in there. And then I saw someone else doing a video and I'm like, Wow, that's a lot of stuff. When you look at the stamp set, you would never think that all of that was in there. So I'm going to stamp Little Miss Hippo in Memento on white. And then she gets die cut out. Um, I'm going to do that real quick so then you can see how she goes together. And I'm not going to take the time to color her, but when I put this on the tub, I popped it up on dimensions. I'm getting a hair in my mouth. You know, my hair gets wild and wooly when it gets humid out. And so we're putting that on there. There is a little tiny something, something right in, in the uh, dye. And I'm getting off camera. I apologize for that. And I haven't done one of these videos for a while, so summer gets busy. I made some pickle relish this morning. I've been doing uh, green beans. And so then she gets put right in here. I'm not going to fasten her because I want to color her yet. Give her a little umbrella. And then um, I can put these little hearts on. And you can do this stuff in any color you want. I just decided I'm going to do the Coastal Cabana to match. And I don't have my tool here, but I could pick those up easier with it and put them down easier. Because I do not have fingernails. Okay, so then I took my words and just put this on the front now I didn't get put a white in there for the inside because I don't think I did um it, because this is a lighter colored paper and then you can put her little glasses on her after you've colored her so you can use colored pencils or um the blends which is what I used is the blends and my blend coloring isn't wonderful. I am i don't take the time that a lot of you do with the coloring, but there is our first card. Okay, so this is our second card. This is using another one of the um, uh, celebration stamp sets. And this one I used Orchid Oasis for the base and we're going to put that one aside and just put this one together real quick and let's see what this is another card that I made with that paper that wonderful wonderful world paper um, it has some gorgeous papers in it and um, the one sheet, two of the sheets have those large flowers that you can cut out. And then this is the back of one of the other ones. So I thought that just made a pretty card. Okay. Now I'm looking for the embossing folder. This is the embossing folder that I used to cut out or to emboss your front layer. So when you are putting your card together, I cut the front out of this one before I embossed it. 
And that's more or less to show you how you can save on your cardstock when you're making cards, especially when you're making a lot of them. So I layered that on there, and I did I say this is pretty flowers? This is the embossing folder. Okay, and then you will have different um, prints. I cut uh, probably 38 or so of these for people, and you don't all get the same prints whenever that happens. Okay, so this stamp set, uh, this I did cut with Stitch So Sweetly dies. This stamp set um, is gorgeous. The flower stamp, so lovely. And I used Orchid Oasis on this. And I'm just going to show you here um, how nicely this one stamps. Now, you could make your stem green. I just stamped it all in the same color. But you could use your Stampin' Right markers or the smaller sponges to color, put the ink on your stamp, and then stamp it if you wanna make it different colors. But this is one of those distinctive stamps, and doesn't it just stamp gorgeous? And that Orchid Oasis, I just love it. Okay, so our words on the front, wishing you the happiest of birthdays, comes from Charming Sentiments. And I did use the dye that um, correspond with that to cut out the words. There is a piece of white there for your inside. And we're going to stamp that in Orchid Oasis, just like the flowers. Uh, on my sample, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little sparkly. I did use Winka Stella on there. So if you want to add a little something something to yours, you could do that. That also does blend the colors a little bit. It kind of brightens them a little bit. Okay, so I see that that just didn't quite stamp the way I like it to. It's just not as clear on the letters. And I was starting to have trouble with that, with this stamp for some reason. And all of our stamps uh, are wonderful, but they have a, their own personality. And there are certain techniques. None of this is a silicone mat. It isn't Stampin' Ups. Um, I do use Stampin' Ups, but I don't have it right handy. And so it seemed when I put a silicone mat under it, it stamped much nicer. You can see here there are some areas where the, the inking is broken. Here it is very clear. So if you ever have trouble with the way something is stamping, try that. Try your Stampin' Pierce mat. There are different ways to kind of get around that. So then I layered that down flat, and there should be the pearls in your envelope. I put two pearls up here in the corner, and I did wink of Stella that. This, there is a die that you can purchase called Sentiment Silhouette Dies that goes with all of the words in this stamp set, Charming Sentiments. But you don't have to have that, and I'm not gonna walk away from the camera right now. And I had the scissors here earlier, where did they go? So if you don't have the dies, and you can do this with any of your stamping uh, words, uh, there are times when I just like the look of, of it being cut around the words, so. There we go, and I did pop up the words here. And we're gonna 
try and I try to keep an eye on what's going on here in the camera. I'm standing above it. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see. I'm kind of out of practice. But um, that one I cut out by hand. This one cut out with the dies. And you can see that it is a lot more detailed. But I can live with this also. So then I just uh, fasten this down. And I have my Tombow glue handy. So that's what I'm using. But you can use your adhesive of choice. And then the white inside goes in there. And I think that is such a pretty card. Now our last card is a Christmas card. And this is in the new mini catalog. This is the card that is in your kit. I'm going to show you a couple others that I made with this paper and with <clears throat> the stamp set and dies. The paper is called Lights Aglow. It is very pretty, all of it. I would say both sides you can use for a lot of, of, of different things. So that is the Lights of Glow. Those of you in the paper share well, will get a, portion, a fourth of that pack in your paper share. I'm going to show you the rest of these before I show you how I made that card. Here's another one. This is the paper from Lights of Glow. Um, I uh, stamped and embossed that um, snowflake. And then this is another one. And this one, I stamped the tree and then gold embossed it. Um, same tree as this one on your card, but all I did was cut this out with the dies. I didn't do any stamping on that except for the words. Okay, so our card base on this one is white. And my area here is getting quite messy, so if that crowds in here... You may see a mess, and that's what happens when I'm doing a video. Okay, our next layer is Evening Evergreen. And we don't, I almost put that down. We don't want to put that down yet. You want to take your printed papers and fasten them to the front of that however you want. You can use either side. You can make them both the same if that's what you want. And again, everybody does not have the same printed papers. So I'm going to layer that on the front. And then I'm going to take this ribbon. And I just think this ribbon is gorgeous. Um, I'm looking around here to see if I have any. I do have scotch tape, which I can use that or... Um, if I had my stamp and seal handy, I would be using. There's always something that I miss whenever I'm getting ready to do these videos. Okay, so that works just as well to put a little scotch tape on there. That ribbon, I wanted to tell you what that is called it is on page 31 it's called golden vanilla satin edged ribbon i just think it's gorgeous and i'm also going to show you this uh, while we're here the festive pearls has four different colors on there and they are also very pretty um here they are you'll you'll each get five pearls in your package in your envelope to be used on your tree they will not all be the same color. Again, when I'm doing um, so many kits, everybody doesn't get the same color. But hopefully you like what you get and um, make a pretty card. Okay, so here we go. Now this is going to be some work for you as well. You'll see there's little... Some of these punch out and some do not. I'm going to do something I don't usually like to do. I'm using the pen tip. You have to be careful that you don't mark places. Some of these are cut out. Some of these are just indents. So be careful. 
uh, this little star right here is just an indent. So look for the ones that look more like they're cut out and you're gonna need to clean up your tree. Okay, so then that tree just gets fastened down and the star goes up here on top. I used soft suede to stamp my words. And then I used the double oval punch and I don't see my soft suede, here it is. Here it is, okay. I'm gonna show you how slick. I had the, the double oval punch. Deb, Deb Rafe was here this morning and we're working on getting ready for um, our benefit of that, making cards for Sweet Grace. So I was showing her how we could punch some greetings with this oval punch. Okay, so here we go. And I just like the way that soft suede kind of gives you the gold effect. And then that, those words are popped up on your card. Now, I am not going to completely finish this because I'm not going to make you wait while I punch out all those little holes. But then your words go on front and popped up and then this goes on this whole section goes on the front of your card now for the inside you can put in there whatever you want i really like this hope and peace stamp set uh in the new mini catalog um i like the verses on it so some of the girls did pick something from that for the inside now um here is a tip, if you don't have one of the pokey tools, this is very simple way to get your holes out, holes punched out, a toothpick. Something that you all might have hanging around. There we go. I did want to show you that. So this is the stamp set that goes with that tree. It has a, the tree... Oh, we got a lot of glare. We have the snowflake. We have that garland. Um, we have some other snowflakes and twinkles. And then the dyes are one of the things that really sold me on this set. Because this is the outline of the tree. If you want to just stamp it and then cut out the whole frame, you can. Or you can uh, stamp it or you can use this in the center and then that gets your little holes and so forth um punched out like on this one you can see some of the white coming through the back on the holes and then i stamped it and gold embossed it but you've got the snowflakes you've got several different sizes of snowflakes this is a tree topper um, I, I like the variety in this. There aren't words with it. So if you already have some words you like, you could use that. But um, I just really like that. Okay, so I want to say congratulations to Barb Ramsey, who won the door prize for this week. And then our next card class is Tuesday and Thursday, August 9th and 11th. 10, 2, and 6. September 6 is the Sweet Grace Ministry Benefit. That is from 10 to 2. All supplies are provided for that. I just need hands to help put it together. And um, I'll supply drink and plates and napkins, utensils if needed. Um, if everyone who wants to stay that long brings a snack to share, you don't have to, but uh, some people might get a little hungry during that time. Then I did have some volunteers to help get things cut and ready. That is August 30th at Tuesday again, and that prep will be from 10 to 1. So um, I did have a few of you let me know that you could come for that. You could bring a snack for that also as well. I'll have ice water and things here. Um, so our next 
date coming up is August 10th is our next paper pumpkin deadline, and that's a sunflower. It looks really nice if you got in paper pumpkins in the past, um, and you're not getting it right now. You might just want to sign up for that one, because I think there's a little something extra in that one. Plus, it looks really, really pretty. Okay, that is all I have for today, and thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful rest of the day.